What's up, friends? It's Friday. I'm Sophie, and this is Random Rambles. But shout out to anybody who knows how to make things sound good in your ears. If you want to give me, like, let's say, um, a theme song or a little jingle ling 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 ling, give it. To, I want to. I want to like, you know. So if you could help a help a sister out. Um, but today I want to talk about. Uh, a comedy special I watched last night um, that is, um, has definitely given me perspective. Um, she might have all that talk. She talked about perspective. Per- per- perspective. She talked about perspective. Um, I watched Hannah Gadsby's Nanette last night. And, hey, if you have not watched it, stop this video. Stop it right now. Go watch it and come back. Because you need to watch that. Like, it was changing. Uh, never did I think that an, <laughs> an hour-long set would be about art history. But it was, and it was wonderful. And I want to learn from Nanette. I do. I think that... There are lessons we all can take from Nanette, um, and and handling and not even just Nanette, but how Hannah Gatsby is, how she present like everything about Nanette was so well done. But beyond that, the message, which was, I'm not doing self deprecating humor anymore, because it's not humility it's humiliation when you're already a marginalized person and she feels as a lesbian who's gender not normal which I love the term I mean it's not the best but I do like the idea of gender not normal because it it doesn't necessarily mean non-binary or gender fluid it just means I don't feel exactly cis which is sort of where I lie on the spectrum is that I, I don't feel cis but I don't feel not cis I just don't you know gender not normal Harry armpits for the win you know um but the way she spoke about comedy and how it's a tool for releasing tension but also how it creates tension and it spreads anger and all these things and it was like I as someone who wants to get into comedy, I had never thought about what that means to do self-deprecating humor. I just thought that that was sort of the way, um, because that's how comedy has really always been. Um, if you weren't making fun of somebody else, you were making fun of yourself. But humor can be funny. Like you can have laughter and humor and comedy out putting yourself down or putting somebody else down there are ways to do that and Hannah Gadsby found that way and I truly hope she doesn't retire from comedy even though this is the first thing I'm experiencing with her but at the same time I understand why she needs to like if you've been telling the same story over and over and over again and that punchline's still the same because you haven't like moved on from that point in your life then like what are you doing sharing your story and I'm not and like it's not to say that those who are telling the same story over and over again aren't sharing a valid narrative but Hannah Gadsby said it in such a way that, like, I wish I could was as eloquent and thought out as she did. And granted, she wrote a set and it was edited and gone through and this is a random ramble. But I want to go into comedy. I have been told I'm a funny person. Um, and for a long time, I couldn't take a joke. So to get to here has been wonderful, but I'm afraid that I've now put myself in a position 
where I won't have any stories to tell because I don't want to do soft deprecating humor. I don't want to put others down, but I don't know where I lie on the spectrum of comedy um, because I do make fun of myself. I, you know, I am the first one to throw a joke about me having all these allergies and all of this stuff. And it's like, how, who, who am I? And who am I trying to present to this world? And I honestly don't know. And it's okay, but it's scary that I don't, I don't know because I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 and a half years old. I am almost a quarter of a century old. And I know you're thinking she's a baby and I am, I'm a baby adult. And I don't, and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And this is the whole point of this, but I don't want to get 10 years into my career, 20 years into my career, and then look back at material and say, why was I so mean to myself? Or why was I so mean to others? Like, let's get real in 10 years from now. I'm going to look back at any of these videos and be like, what utter shit? What was I thinking? But you have to make bad art to make good art. And this is the bad art. And that's okay. But I don't want to look back and say, I was spreading hate. I was spreading anger. I want to spread joy and laughter. And yeah, this is a long one, but I'm still trying to figure out who I am. And Hannah Gadsby, thank you for being an inspiration. You... I think you changed comedy. And I know that's a really bold statement, but Nanette is unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I've seen a lot. So, yeah. Um, tell me if you know what you're doing or if you don't know what you're doing, let's talk about it. Let's figure it out, folks. I, 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 I oh, hello. I don't. So let's figure it out together. See you Monday, guys. Goddamn gendered language. <laughs>